there. Today we're talking easy skillet apple crisp. I love this recipe because it is so simple. You can literally throw it together last minute if you have friends and family coming over, or it's nice and delicious and fantastic enough to serve for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Now this is called easy for a reason. It is so, so simple because it is not required to peel your apples. And it's super flexible, so you're welcome to peel your apples if you like. Let me show you. Now you first start by heating that oven, which I've already done, 350 degrees. Next, you wanna grease your cast iron skillet, which is a little bit of non-dairy butter. You wanna make sure you get the bottom and the sides liberally greased. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, don't worry, this can easily be made in a seven by 11 dish, a two quart dish, or a three quart dish. The difference is if you do a two quart dish, it will end up a little bit taller and thicker. And if you do a three quart dish, it'll be a little bit shorter and shallower, but still really, really juicy and amazing and delicious. Either way, it'll work. So we have our skillet greased, ready to go. Set that aside for now. Next, we wanna prepare our apples. We want two pounds. I usually do something along the lines of Fuji, something that's sweet, but you are more than welcome to do a tart apple such as Granny Smith's or a combination of the two. For some reason with this one, I just always steer more towards the sweeter apples. That's just what we love, but feel free to do whatever you like. All right, so I've already chopped most of the apples. Just wanted to show you how I do it. So he first start by chopping your apples into slices. And then each slice gets chopped into thirds or fourths. So you're looking for approximately one inch chunks, maybe slightly smaller. All right all of our apple chunks into a medium-sized mixing bowl. What's also great is that filling ingredients and the topping ingredients are very similar. So you repeat a few of the same ingredients, starting with sugar, a right, little bit of flour. You can easily make this recipe gluten-free by using a gluten-free flour. I prefer oat flour. Today I'm using regular all-purpose though. A little bit of cinnamon or a lot of cinnamon. And finally, lemon juice. You can use fresh lemon juice or bottled lemon juice. Okay, and that's it for the filling. Give us a nice toss. Toss so all the apples are evenly coated with the mixture. You want sugar and cinnamon over each and every piece of apple if possible. This looks and smells absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Grab our skillet. All right, so here I'm using a 12 inch skillet which is gonna mean that this dessert will be shallower than if you were to use a 10 inch skillet. But really, really delicious and juicy and amazing. Spread them out evenly. So here we are, it's looking great. Just set this aside and we can take that same unwashed mixing bowl to make our topping. I'm all about dirtying up as few dishes as possible and I'm sure you're the same way, right? Okay, we wanna start with some rolled old fashioned oats. And I have to say, the full recipe can be found on AudreyDunham.com. Just do a search for easy skillet apple crisp or even apple crisp and it'll pop right up. And this recipe is included in my new Thanksgiving cookbook titled Vegan Thanksgiving Dinner and Pies, which you can find anywhere books are sold or on my website, AudreyDunham.com. Just click on the word shop. So we have our rolled oats. We have sugar, again, that we used in the base as well. Flour that we used in the base, keeping our ingredient nice and simple and easy, right? And we're using our cinnamon again. So you will definitely taste the cinnamon. It won't be too overpowering, it'll be just right, so, so good. Some non-dairy butter that's been softened, it's been sitting out for a bit. Our last ingredient is pecans, or pecans, however you say it. Jeff and I argue about that all the time. Just wanna give these a rough chop. Now I have to say the nuts can be completely left out if you like, or you can replace them with a different type of nuts such as walnuts, whatever you like. Get these guys in there. I usually start by stirring this just to get the butter evenly coated if it's still on the firmer side. And then I'm gonna get my hands in there. Just work that butter in so that it is evenly distributed throughout. Grab that skillet. And then we just transfer the topping right over the top. Cover those apples as much as we can. All right, it's pretty evenly covered there. All right, it's ready to go into our preheated oven. It's going to bake for about 40 to 50 minutes or until the edges are just a light golden brown. But the good news is I made one earlier today, so nobody here has to wait to see what the finished product looks like. Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a spoon. Now I will say you do want to let this cool about five to 10 minutes before serving and serving it warm is definitely the way to go if you can. This is one of those desserts that you wanna serve the same day that it's made. It is the best 
and has the best texture that very first day. If you're making it for a holiday and you wanna do something ahead of time, you certainly can. You can chop those apples and just store them in an airtight container in the fridge until the day of. They will keep perfectly fine and be ready to go when you need them. Okay, so the way to serve this dessert, you definitely want some non-dairy vanilla ice cream or whipped cream to go on top if you wanna take it to that next level. It's gonna be fantastic the way it is, but there's just something about that contrast of the warm with the cool mixture of the flavors, that vanilla ice cream. Mm. It is a match made in heaven, I'll say. I am tasting this already. The last thing we need, that ice cream right on top. Glorious. I wish you were here to enjoy this with me. So good. Got a little bit of the steam. It's still hot, warm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm, those apples are just perfect, juicy and tender. I like them with a little bit of crisp left. If you like them completely soft, you can cook it a little bit longer, an extra 10 minutes or so. It's completely up to you. It's gonna be great either way. I have to say this topping, chewy and crisp. Mmm. Yum. Once again, this recipe can be found on AudreyDunham.com. Just do a search for apple crisp, it should pop right up. And it can also be found in my new cookbook, Vegan Thanksgiving Dinner and Pies, which is out now. Available anywhere books are sold or on my website. Just click on the word shop. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe by clicking here. And to get instant notifications anytime that I post a new video, be sure to click that bell. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Happy holidays, everybody.